Okay, I will destroy humans. This video sums up the perception of artificial intelligence for most of us. But at present, we're at no risk of being destroyed by machines. However, the tech tycoon Elon Musk begs to differ. He quotes that AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Now, whether artificial intelligence is a threat or not is debatable. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. For now, let me introduce you to artificial intelligence. The term artificial intelligence was first coined decades ago in the year 1956 by John McCarthy at the Dartmouth conference. He defined artificial intelligence as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. In a sense, AI is a technique of getting machines to work and behave like humans. In the recent past, AI has been able to accomplish this by creating machines and robots that have been used in a wide range of fields, including healthcare, robotics, marketing, business analytics, and many more. However, many AI applications are not perceived as AI because we often tend to think of artificial intelligence as robots doing our daily course. But the truth is artificial intelligence has found its way into our daily lives. It has become so general that we don't realize we use it all the time. For instance, have you ever wondered how Google is able to give you such accurate search results? Or how your Facebook feed always gives you content based on your interest? The answer to these questions is artificial intelligence. Now, before I go any further, let me clear a very common misconception. People often tend to think that artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning are the same since they have common applications. For example, Siri is an application of AI, machine learning and deep learning. So how are these technologies related? Artificial intelligence is the science of getting machines to mimic the behavior of humans. Machine learning is a subset of AI that focuses on getting machines to make decisions by feeding them data. On the other hand, deep learning is a subset of machine learning that uses the concept of neural networks to solve complex problems. So to sum it up, artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning are interconnected fields. Machine learning and deep learning aids artificial intelligence by providing a set of algorithms and neural networks to solve data-driven problems. However, AI is not restricted to only machine learning and deep learning. It covers a vast domain of fields including natural language processing, object detection, computer vision, robotics, expert systems, and so on. Now, artificial intelligence can be structured along three evolutionary stages. Or you can say that there are three different types of artificial intelligence. First, we have the artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence, and finally, artificial super intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence, which is also known as weak AI, involves applying artificial intelligence only to specific tasks. Now, many currently existing systems that claim to use artificial intelligence are operating as a weak AI focused on a narrowly defined specific problem. Now, Alexa is a very good example of narrow intelligence. It operates within a limited predefined range of functions. There is no genuine intelligence or no self-awareness despite being a sophisticated example of weak AI. Other examples of weak AI include the face verification that you see in your iPhone, the autopilot feature at Tesla, the social humanoid Sophia, which was built at Hanson Robotics, and finally, we have Google Maps. All of these applications are based on weak AI or artificial narrow intelligence. Now, let's take a look at artificial general intelligence. Artificial general intelligence is also known as strong AI. It involves machines that possess the ability to perform any intellectual task that a human being can. You see, machines don't possess human-like abilities. They have a strong processing unit that can perform high-level computations, but they're not yet capable of thinking and reasoning like a human. There are many experts who doubt that artificial general intelligence will ever be possible. And there are also many who question whether it should be desirable. I'm sure all of you have heard of Stephen Hawking. Now, he warned us that strong AI would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans who are limited by slow biological evolution 
couldn't compete and would be superseded. Coming to artificial super intelligence, this is a term that refers to the time when the capabilities of computers will surpass human beings. Artificial super intelligence is presently seen as a hypothetical situation as depicted in movies and science fiction books where machines will take over the world. However, tech masterminds like Elon Musk believe that artificial super intelligence will take over the world by the year 2040. Now that you know the different types of artificial intelligence, let's take a look at how AI is used in the real world. From spotting an 8-planet solar system, which is 2,500 light years away, to composing sonnets and poems, the applications of AI have covered all possible domains in the market. In the finance sector, JP Morgan's Chase Contract Intelligent Platform uses artificial intelligence, machine learning and image recognition software to analyze legal documents and extract important data points and clauses in a matter of seconds. Now, manually reviewing 12,000 agreements takes over 36,000 hours, but AI was able to do this in a matter of seconds. Coming to healthcare, IBM is one of the pioneers that has developed AI software specifically for medicine. More than 230 healthcare organizations worldwide use IBM Watson technology. In 2016, IBM Watson AI technology was able to cross-reference 20 million oncology records and correctly diagnose a rare leukemia condition in a patient. Coming to the next application, Google's AI Eye Doctor is another initiative taken by Google where they are working with an Indian eye care chain to develop an AI system which can examine retina scans and identify a condition called diabetic retinopathy which causes blindness. Coming to social media platforms like Facebook, artificial intelligence is used for face verification wherein machine learning and deep learning concepts are used to detect facial features and tag your friends. Another such example is Twitter's AI, which is being used to identify hate speech and terroristic languages in tweets. It makes use of machine learning, deep learning and natural language processing to filter out offensive content. The company discovered and banned 300,000 terrorist-linked accounts, 95% of which were found by non-human, artificially intelligent machines. The Google Predictive Search is one of the most famous AI applications. When you begin typing a search term and Google makes recommendations for you to choose from, that is AI in action. Predictive searches are based on data that Google collects about you, such as your location, your age and other personal details. By using AI, the search engine attempts to guess what you might be trying to find. Next, we have virtual assistants. Virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa and Cortana are examples of artificial intelligence. A newly released Google's virtual assistant called Google Duplex has astonished millions of people. Not only can it respond to calls and book appointments for you, it adds a human touch. Now listen to this clip and try to distinguish between the AI and the human. See, how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, Today, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually we leave here for like, after like five people. For few, four people you can come. So which one do you think is a virtual assistant? Let me know your answer in the comments. Now, another famous application of artificial intelligence is self-driving cars. AI implements computer vision, image detection, and deep learning to build cars that can automatically detect objects and drive around without human intervention. Elon Musk talks a ton about how AI is implemented in Tesla's self-driving cars and autopilot features. He quoted that Tesla will have fully self-driving cars ready by the end of the year and a robo-taxi version, one that can ferry passengers without anyone behind the wheel. So I can go on and on about the various AI applications. Since the emergence of AI in 1950s, we have seen an exponential growth in its potential. 
AI covers domains such as machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, natural language processing, knowledge base, expert systems and so on. It has also made its way into computer vision and image processing. As AI is branching out into every aspect of our lives, is it possible that one day AI might take over our lives? And if it is possible, how long will this take? Well, it may be sooner than you think. It is estimated that AI will take over the world within the next 30 years. By then, I hope we develop some sort of teleportation machine that helps us escape our very own creation. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. So that's all from my side. Until next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!